Hello, folks. Welcome to Cudlow. I'm Larry Cudlow. So, some good news today in two parts. First, more Americans are working. That is unambiguously a good thing. Corporate payrolls up 471,000 in July, 5.2% year on year wage increase, 6.2% if you're a blue collar worker. That's all pretty good to me. The unemployment rate all the way down to 3.5%. The small business oriented household survey, not quite as strong, but still up 179,000. So the first half economy was negative in recession. We'll see about Q3 after the good jobs report. We've still got a big inflation problem, although some market price indicators have tailed down to be sure. But the Fed's got more work to do to drain its balance sheet, bring its Fed funds target rate above the inflation rate. I don't know where that's going to land, but 2.5% is still way too low. They've got more work to do. My guess is the absolute base minimum inflation rate is probably 5 to 6%. But at least we will cheer more Americans working. I always like that. And by the way, just thinking about this, if we had some decent supply-side economic policies like lower marginal tax rates or deregulation of energy and industry, We'd have nothing to fear from a 5 or 6% wage hike. But we do have a heavily overregulated economy. We've got plenty of tax threats as well. More of that could be coming. Anyway, think of the right policy as tax cuts and king dollar. Tax cuts and king dollar. The former generates growth incentives. The latter holds down prices. That's the best policy mix. Now, second piece of good news... CapEx investment is being carved out of the Manchin Schumer monstrosity. Courtesy of Senator Kristen Sinema, probably the worst part of this dummy bill has been removed. Taxable profits will replace minimum corporate book profits, at least as far as the 100% expensing of plant and equipment is concerned. All right, add technology to that as well. Now, there's no legislative text yet, so we don't know everything. We're going to have to know much more. We don't know what it's going to cost. But the kill shot to business investment has been removed as far as I can tell. So hats off to Senator Cinema. I'm sure she watches our show nightly. I'm sure she takes notes constantly. And therefore, she removed the most economically damaging part of this goofy bill. Thank you, Ms. Cinema. I appreciate it. Also, she took out the carried interest provision which uh, would have taxed private equity funds on a capital gains basis with a three-year holding period. That has been taken out, too. So the three-year holding is not extended to five years. Now, that still leaves the IRS DC swamp rat provision to attack small businesses and conservative groups, right? The 87,000 more IRS agents. Also remaining in this terrible bill, drug price controls. By the way, the Congressional Budget Office is actually scoring that as a price hike not a cost reduction, more on that later in the show. And, of course, the usual war against fossil fuels. We'll call it $430 billion, given the EPA new power to regulate greenhouse gases, and Lord knows what else they're going to regulate. That's the war on fossil fuels, $430 billion worth. Then we have the social spending. That includes new Obamacare subsidies. It's going to cost about $250 billion. That's added to the 430 on the fossils. Plus, of course, the 285 billion chips plus bill that they passed two weeks ago. So if you add it up, it's not far from a trillion dollars of spending, which will not be paid for. It may well boost inflation. And there are assorted tax hike cats and dogs left in this little piece of left wing woke utopia that we really don't know much about. Like I say, it's a dumb, goofy bill. America doesn't need it. America doesn't want it. Only the far left wants it. It will not help the economy. It will not reduce inflation. It will create a lot more deficits and debt. And if you hadn't already guessed, it's not really my cup of tea. At least there's no investment tax on small business. At least there's no confiscatory wealth tax. At least the CapEx expensing will remain tax-free deductible. So in the last moments of this left-wing progressive cycle, this little woke cycle, I guess I will say it could have been worse. Now, I know the worksters wanted a much worse, bigger bill. But you know, folks, it's kind of a pathetic bill, isn't it? You know, it started out $5 trillion about a year ago. I mean, it's a pathetic agenda. It's a pathetic Democratic Party. Come on. 
Nothing in there to stop inflation, nothing in there to grow the economy, nothing to close the border wall, nothing to solve the crime wave. Their agenda is nothing. It's pathetic. But I know the cavalry's coming. It would be great if we could save America and kill the rest of this bill. All right? That's just our starter. That's the appetizer.